that's a you freaking genius is. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to simplify cube roots, all right? And you should be familiar with some perfect cubes. So these are a few of them. So eight, 27, 64, 125, and there's a bunch more, okay? So these are just numbers that we can easily take the cube root of, all right? So for example, the cube root, right? The cube root of eight is equal to two. The cube root of 27 is equal to three, the cube root of 64 is four, 125 is five, right, and etc. Okay, or you can think about it the other way, right? So two cubed would be equal to eight. Three cubed is equal to 27, four cubed is equal to 64, and etc. Okay, so here uh, with this first problem, we have the cube root of 128. Okay, so here you just wanna think of what two numbers can I multiply together to get 128? And there's a bunch of different ways we could do it, but here you would specifically wanna use something like 64, times two, okay? And the reason you'd wanna do that is because 64 is a perfect cube and you want to use perfect cubes because it's gonna simplify your math. So the cube root of 128, we can break down into the cube root of 64 times the cube root of two, okay? Now again, 64 is a perfect cube, right? It's equal to four. So the cube root of 64 is equal to four, and then here the cube root of two, we can't simplify that anymore, so we would just multiply this by the cube root of two, okay? So then your final answer right here would be four cube root of two, okay? Uh, the next one over here has some variables in it, so it's cube root of 125 x squared. 125 just happens to be a perfect cube, so when you have a number and variables, you wanna break those into two separate cube roots, all right? So this is gonna be equal to the cube root of 125, times the cube root of x squared, okay? And again, we said this is a perfect cube, right? This is just equal to five. So then here we really have five times the cube root of x squared. Now the cube root of x squared, we can't break that down anymore either. And the reason for that is because the exponent over here has to be a three or bigger in order to simplify a cube root. So two is obviously less than three, so that's why we can't break this down anymore, all right? So then this would be your final answer right there. So five cube root of x squared. All right, so now let's do some examples where we're gonna be able to break down the exponent more. So here we have the cube root of 24 uh, x cubed, right? So again, we can split this up into the number and the variable, okay? So this is gonna be equal to the cube root of 54 times the cube root of x cubed, okay? So now 54, that's not a perfect cube, but we can simplify this into 27 times two, right? And you'd wanna specifically choose this pair right here because we wanna try and use perfect cubes, right? So 27 is a perfect cube. So then this one over here, this is gonna be equal to the cube root of 27 times the cube root of two, right? Cube root of 27 times the cube root of two. And then here we have the cube root of x cubed. And this is simply equal to x. Okay, so then we're multiplying by x. Okay, so let me clarify that. So if I took the square root of, let's say, x squared, this would be equal to x. If I took the cube root of x cubed, this would be equal to just x. If I took the fourth root of x to the fourth, this would be equal to just x. Okay, and the fifth root of x to the fifth would just be equal to x. Okay, so that's the pattern that's kind of going on here. So again, the cube root of x cubed is equal to just x, right? So we just have an x right there. So to simplify this again, the cube root of 27 is equal to three, right? That's a perfect cube. So this is equal to three times the cube root of two times x. Okay, those are all as simplified as we can get them. So that would be your final answer. Okay, and just a couple more here. So here's the negative cube root of 32x to the seventh. Okay, so again, we're gonna split up the number and the variable. So the cube root of 32, times the cube root of x to the seventh. Okay, now 32, this is not a perfect cube, but we can break it down using a perfect cube, specifically eight, right? So then we can break this down into eight times four, right? So the cube root of eight times the cube root of four. So let's write that out. The cube root of eight times the cube root of four. Okay, now we have the cube root of x to the seventh, right? So one way we can break down this x to the seventh is by multiplying it out as x cubed times x cubed times x, right? So here we have seven x's, and now here we have seven x's, right? Because three plus three plus basically one is equal to seven. 
And the reason I want to use x cubed as much as I can is because I know the cube root of x cubed is equal to just x, right? So that kind of simplifies my math if I specifically break it down with an x cubed. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to break it out into the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of just x. So we're going to multiply again by the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of just x. Okay, so now we can simplify a bunch of stuff here, right? So uh, first of all, cube root of 8, that's a perfect cubed. It's equal to 2. And then the cube root of 4, that's not a perfect uh, cube, so that just stays as the cube root of 4. And then here we have the cube root of x cubed, which is equal to x. Same thing here, times x, times here is just the cube root of x, right? The cube root of x. So if we multiply all this together, we're going to get, uh, let's see, first of all, the numbers, 2 times the cube root of 4, 2 times the cube root of 4, times x, times x, so that's equal to x squared, right? So times x squared, times the cube root of x, right? So times the cube root of x, okay? And don't forget, we actually had a negative sign at the very beginning, right? So this means our answer is also negative, okay? So then our final answer right here would be negative 2 cube root 4, x squared cube root x. Ugly answer, I know, but that's as simplified as we can get it. All right, so now let's finish up with this one. So it's the cube root of 8x to the fourth over 27y cubed. So we have a fraction here, right? So one thing you can do is actually break up the radical so we can write it as the cube root of the top. So 8x to the fourth over the cube root of the bottom. So 27y cubed. Okay, so now we can kind of simplify the top on its own and simplify the bottom on its own. So on top, the cube root of 8x to the fourth uh, again, we can split that up into the number and the variables, right? So the cube root of 8 times the cube root of x to the fourth. And on the bottom, same thing, splitting up the numbers and variables, the cube root of 27 times the cube root of y cubed. And this is going to be equal to, on top, the cube root of 8, that's the perfect cube, that's equal to 2. And then here we have the cube root of x to the fourth. So this x to the fourth, I'm going to break down into x cubed times x. Again, I want to try and get one of these x cubes like this, right? Because I know what the cube root of x cubed is. So I'm going to split it up like that. So we're going to say the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of x. And that's all over the bottom over here. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. And then that's times the cube root of y cubed in this case, which is equal to just y, right? Just y. So then simplifying this again, on top, uh, we have the cube root of x cubed, so that's equal to just x. And then here, the cube root of x is just cube root of x, right? And then we have our 2. So on top, we're going to have 2 times x times the cube root of x, all over 3 times y, which is 3y. Okay, that's as simplified as we can get that, so this would be your final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.